Hello, everybody. I feel like I have just taken a sabbatical from all of these fantastic videos that I used to do on a weekly basis for you. I must be getting more comfortable. I hope that you are too. Um, I'm really enjoying visiting all of the meetings, even though I have to do it by Zoom. I am able to get out and about and visit more of you. Today, I visited Business Express and Presidential by uh, going to the chapter success meeting for Presidential after attending the actual meeting for Business Express. And yesterday, I did the same thing. I went to Pittwater Professionals and then I did their chapter success meeting for BNI United. Um, I did go in at the beginning of August and book a visit into each and every chapter this month, so I look forward to seeing you. Um, for those of you who've never met me, I am Wendy Lloyd Curley. I'm the Executive Director for BNI Sydney Northeast. And uh, this video is going to be, I hope, short and sharp. It's a minute long already. I promise you I will get to the point. I wrote down a few things. Uh, let's see. The BNI Business Builder login. I have a secret to tell you. I just found some reporting capabilities in BNI Business Builder that I probably have had for a long time. I can actually see who's been assigned different activities in Business Builder. And worse than that, I can actually see who's done them. And I can see the percentage that you've done. Um, now, this is powerful big brother kind of information, isn't it? But it's also really important because what we can see is people who have done MSP, people who have done leadership training, people who have um, completed the assignments or watched the overviews of the new uh, capabilities in BNI Connect. So uh, it's really going to be very valuable. And so I wanted to let you know we can see that. And the reason is I don't think that a lot of us have uh, taken advantage of BNI Business Builder for what it's there for. One of our values in BNI is a lifelong learning, right? So I, I hope that you believe that because you stay green, because you always have something to learn, that you will continue to grow and continue to develop. And the BNI Business Builder resource is there with an amazing amount of information. Now, we do have leadership team transition happening in October, and a lot of you are going to be participating in leadership team training in the month of August. That's the month we're in now in order to get ready for your new roles in October. And so I want to make sure that every single person in our chapters, every single member has their login to BNI Business Builder working. And the best thing to do is just log in. You use the same email address and the same password as you use for BNI Connect. So if for any reason you can't get into BNI Business Builder, make sure you're using the same email address and the same password. And if you're still having trouble, please write to me and let me know because I want to get that fixed ASAP. All right, so that's number one. Uh, number two, the meeting vibe. I love visiting your meetings and I'm pretty sure that I'm... Um, I'm a catalyst for you to go and read your agenda and make sure that you're going through the script very, very, very carefully. Um, but please don't because the meeting vibe is perfect when you guys are speaking from the heart. When you give uh, the agenda your own genuine flavor, I really believe this and the visitors can feel it. When the visitors feel like you're reading a script, then it feels like you're being told what to say. And the script isn't there to tell you what to say. It's to guide you while you learn about the role that you have. And every single one of us is really a powerful part of the experience for a visitor. So when I keep visiting your chapter meetings, I want to feel like you guys feel at home that it is your domain, this BNI chapter meeting that you have. So don't be driving, don't be eating, don't be backlit, be paying attention, don't be sidetracked, and do put your camera in front of your face so that people don't see you looking over to the side when you're talking to them. I know that you're looking at me when you do something like this, but it's really disconcerting for the visitors because they don't know. Do you see how uncomfortable it is? It's a little bit weird. So let's all pay attention. And um, my biggest bit of advice is to use a pen. 
and take notes during the meeting so that you pay attention and you write down things and ideas that you have as you go. I have one more thing to tell you, and I know I'm over time, but I want to host a happy hour online on the 20th of August. It's a Friday. I'll make it open on a Zoom call from four o'clock till six o'clock. Let's just get together. Whoever comes, comes. Whoever doesn't, doesn't. We can use breakout rooms if there's too many people in the main room, or we could just stay together. But I would really love to spend some time with you guys, get to know you, and do some cross-referrals and cross-regional conversations and get to know everybody. So I hope you'll join me. And that is a wrap. Talk to you soon. Bye.